thing I am most proud of is the fact that we celebrate culture and language, uh, home cultures, home languages, and that we create a safe space for families to feel welcome. In all these years that I have worked in different schools in different countries, I think that's what makes Charlotte Bilingual special, that we take care of students, but we also care about their families. When the children walk into the classroom, they see pictures of themselves, they see pictures of their families. By embracing their language and their home culture, it helps the child be more comfortable in the classroom and embracing the home language lets them know that you do care about them and you care about where they come from. When you are little, your mom talks to you, you pick up the language, but you are picking more than that. You're picking concept, culture, other skills. So if you tap into the student's native language, then you know how much they know and you can continue to um, groom that and the student will continue to grow academically, socially, emotionally, culturally, and then your job will be just to add that other language. We insist in teaching people in languages that they don't understand. And so what we see is that there is a gap in their learning. So for us, Data is the thing that actually allows you to see the problem, name the problem, contain the problem, and fix the problem, right? So first thing I did was hire a research and evaluation director and started looking at what do we see in the larger landscape, looked at our children's access to additional services, and there was a national narrative that prevented our families from feeling comfortable accessing additional services, and we saw that it directly impacted our children's readiness for um, H, you know, to meet age expectations. Cuando hacemos una evaluación uh, en el lenguaje que es el lenguaje de casa del niño, es importante ya que podemos uh, hacer la calificación correcta del de niño. Por ejemplo, el niño puede tener mucho conocimiento en los números, pero tal vez para él es más fácil en español que en inglés. Al poder nosotros realizar la evaluación en su lenguaje, podemos estar seguros dónde se encuentra el niño. En cambio, si nosotros lo haríamos en inglés y el niño se le facilitaría más en español, sería uh, nosotros el niño saldría más bajo, pero el niño realmente sabe, solamente que para él le está aprendiendo el siguiente idioma y al hacerlo en nuestro lenguaje primordial pues es como podemos ayudarlo de mejor manera. If you look at the third grade reading scores for our Latino children, only 40% of our children are reading in third grade level, right? Whereas there's 81% of white children who are reading on grade level in third grade. So there's a humongous gap and we know that our graduates are actually outperform their Latino peer all the way through second grade in elementary school which means that what we do works. They have realized the impact that dual language education having the success of English learners. And they say, well, what are you doing in this school that is different? Why are your students having so much success? So once they find out and learn, they have duplicated the dual language programs in the public schools. I think that policymakers, if they really took a step back and looked at the long term, and look where children that come from places like Charlotte Bilingual, that they would see educational value for early childhood is extremely important. There's so much potential here, and we can do so much more, not only for the Latino community, but show to the rest of the community what appropriate practice is. I think that our lack of proximity with each other creates a gulf in between that was set, set up like that keeping you from really understanding what are my desires, my dreams, my wishes, besides what are my challenges, right? And, um, and then you end up creating a policy that makes no sense for me because you're not proximate, you have no idea what the thing is. You have your illusion of what you think I need. So when I came, the school that I came to was the only dual lang Spanish dual language school in all these, the Eastern coast. Now there is at least one bilingual uh, dual language school in each county in North Carolina. That tells me that politicians are aware of the importance of embracing students who do not speak other language, is, do not speak English as their first language, 
and they are doing things to make sure that we serve those students well. So even though we have been doing it moving very slowly, we are moving towards that. This is what happens when you've got a really good dream, a good plan, and you just get going. We can make a difference and I think we should just keep at it. <laughs>